And what I want to do in this video is talk about um, an issue you can have with an XML import. Uh, this video is going to cover Business Center, and I'll do another one with Carlson. But if I have a file, somebody sent this to me and asked me to take a look at it, and they thought they were having some problems with it, and let's bring in an XML and see what we have. Now, this job is international feet, and what I'll do is just take and, and drag and drop the um, uh, the XML file into Business Center, and when I bring that in, uh, it creates a surface, and that surface is generated, and everything looks pretty good until I start taking a closer look. So what I want to do is come over here to the uh, the area where the surface is brought in. This is just a parking lot expansion, so the survey is the whole area. We're just doing work in this little spot here, but if you look closely, you'll start to see that here's the surface. This is the curb line here. This should be the top back of curb right where my cursor is, and you see we're a good distance off. So obviously I have a units difference, and the thing is we really don't know what's what because of the XML is probably in the wrong units but what if this job is not an international feed and it's US survey feed this is always real critical to show um, the steps that you've taken to not only produce these files but when you're importing them what you've done and if you have done some type of coordinate shift or reset in the units that it's going to make a difference and you've got to be able to track that down when you're confronted with the situation, the best thing to do, and, and at least in our experience, probably the only correct thing to do, is to start getting involved with survey and see what's going on with the site. So we're going to acquire uh, at least the control, and regardless of what the surveyor is using, whatever type of equipment, we can pull that localization or calibration in and verify what's correct here is the surface in the right spot or the line work in the correct location now it's important to remember that that dwg files are unitless so if i set up a job in international feet in trimble business center and i take and drag and drop the cad file it's going to put it at those units and not offer to do a coordinate shift or try to adjust things and that's the difference with some other files that are going to give you a warning or at least you'll know what units they were produced in like the XML file and in that case we can take a look at the header and kind of verify what was done here now what I can do is open up the XML file in a viewer to actually see what was done and you'll notice that the file here um, if we kind of drill down the um, uh, the units are all through here so this is a US survey foot file and that would require me to bring that file in at least as far as business center is concerned in a US survey foot job I don't want to go changing this because this is how it's produced yes you can um, uh, just put foot in there it'll go to international feet and that'll be fine but I'd rather see why this was done because survey might be using these units on the job site and you're trying to do things international and it's just better to convert to what's being used locally as opposed to try to change things around just to satisfy a single import for the job. 